Oh my God, look at these images. Just a couple of days ago, Black Forest Labs released a brand new model, Flux One. And here you can see a few of the amazing images it generated. Just look at those. Now on their website, you can click on Get Flux and here you will see three of the models. But unfortunately, with the three models, all of them are paid. Or if I phrase this differently, you have to add a payment method to use them. Now, in this video, we are going to discover free alternative methods, online methods, because you can also run this model locally. So free online methods, you can use Flux One online. So the first one, which I want to mention, is this one right here. This one is called Pick Lumen. And this model is completely free to use, by the way. And I will leave this link in the video description down for it. And on top here, you can click on launch application. Now, once here, you will see first explore page. Explore page here, pretty much you will see many of other generated images, which others created with this platform. And here, if you go under the create here on top, which is the most important part, is that we have here down below Flux One Schnell, which is actually the same as this one right here, where you have to add a payment method to use. Here, pretty much, you will select Flux One Schnell if you want to use this model. Here on the right, I highly suggest that you use the aspect ratio you want to create content for. I will go with 16 by 9 so you will clearly see the image which I'm going to generate right now with this model. And here on the right, you will also see how many of the images you want to have after you click here on generate button. I will go with four and this is pretty much it. Now you just need to input your prompt here and keep in mind that you cannot use here this image option because you will have to use some other model here. So I highly suggest that you guys use Flux One Schnell or if you want to reference any other image, then just use some of the other models right here. Now here on the right, you will also find three options. First one is auto translate. So basically, if you are native Spanish speaker and you're writing here in Spanish, then you can just click on this button here and everything will be translated to English. And here we also have prompt enhance. So pretty much if you have one simple prompt, you can click on this and the prompt enhance will somewhat make your prompt better. And here on the right, we also have this hamburger menu and you can also add your negative prompt to your existing prompt. And here we also have CFG scale as well as the steps. So down below, if you have the steps option cranked up, you can also see that more steps more quality image you will get at the end of the generation. Now I will just type in something here. That is it. And now I will show you how the prompt enhance feature actually works. So here I'll just click on this. And here you can see pretty much how our prompt looks like right now, which was enhanced with the prompt enhance feature. And here I'll just click on generate. Now, as I mentioned before, this model is completely free to use, but there's a major caveat. So if you go here down below, you can click here under the usage dashboard. You can pretty much see here how many of the free fast hours you can use. So about 30, this is 30 minutes you can use pretty much. So fast hours gives you higher priority in the generation pipeline. So I believe that you can only use 30 minutes of that on a daily basis. So here on top, you can also see your generation statistics. So images today, as well as 32 total generations as of now. So here I'll go to the create and this is pretty much it, how this looks like. And now we have four of the images generated with the Flux One Schnell. And as I mentioned before, it's the same as this one right here. Now, if we go back to create here, we have four of the examples. We have this lake, mountains in the background and also forests surrounding it. I think personally that this last one looks the best. And let's take a look what the properties this image actually has. So here we have the prompt which was used. Then we have Flux One Schnell model. We have create time, resolution, CFG scale of five, as well as the seed. 
Now you can also download this image. You can click here on remix this image. You can even remove the background as well as colorize this image differently. Now the last option is to delete this image, but yeah, this is pretty much it of the features. Let's try one more feature here, which is let's try remix feature. And I think that we have here right now this same prompt and let's click on generate and let's see what will picklumen.com come up with. And meanwhile, this is generating. If you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support is highly appreciated, by the way. One critic that I have of this website is that you cannot see the actual progress bar of how are our images in generating process. So here we only have, let's say, four images and we have only message generating. So it would be nice to implement some kind of a progress bar so you can see how far in the process we are of generating those images nonetheless. And now we have four more of the images. And I think overall that these indeed look better compared to the ones generated before. For example, if we take a look at this one, we have really nice mountains in the background. We have this fog which is winding around the mountains as well as the forest here in the background. And here we have this really nice wooden house here. So yeah, overall, I think that if you want to use free flux model, Picklumen is one option to go for. Now we can also go to the next website, which is Korea.ai. Now Korea.ai also implemented this same model, which is flux one into its pipeline and you can activate it by just clicking here generate images so Korea is also free to use by the way but if you go here to the manage account you can also see here that you have about three minutes to use this model and uh, i think this one is much much better to use more friendly user interface and it also has the progress bar of indicating how further are the images in the generation process. So here on the left, we have this settings option. So here you can pretty much drag these options right here to create a custom aspect ratio, or you can pretty much select whatever aspect ratio you want. I will go with 16 by nine. And here down below, you also have random prompt option, which I believe Picklumen does not have. So here, what I will do, I will just pretty much just copy the same prompt from Picklumen and put it here to the flux. So here I will just copy it just like so and put it just here. And one advantage Korea.ai has over the Picklumen, it's actually the styles. So you can either pick the styles from here. So the first option is actually random style, or you can just pick whatever style you have here from the presets, or you can just go here to the plus and let's say add this kind of the style. And you can also add another one, let's say, and here you can just drag your mouse up and down and you can change the intensity of the style. But I will go without the actual style, so it will be a fair comparison to the peak lumen flux model. So with that said, here I'll just click on generate and let's see what will Korea.ai come up with. And here you can see that we don't have any option how many images you want to generate. By default, this is just four images. So this is what I have to go with. And as I mentioned before, Korea.ai has a really nice indicator here on the bottom left. So the progress bar currently it's stating starting. And when this is pretty much going to the end of the, the progress bar, this should be finished. And right now, I think it's the right thing to do to comment down below which images you think will look better from Picklumen or from Korea.ai. Korea dot AI pretty much finished generating these images. And now let's take a look at them. Now here, what I think this third one looks the best in my opinion. And I think it looks very, very similar to the image generated inside peaklumen.com. Here we can also see that we have more of the detail on the houses here, as well as the mountains, which I think is a bonus. And here, if I click on the image, you can pretty much here download it or click here on variation. So I think this is a very similar feature to the remix feature on the Peak Lumen website. So here I'll click on variation and let's see one more time 
what will korea.ai come up with now we can take a look at those remixed images so here we have this one which i think looks the best and now all of these four images look even better compared to the images generated before so this is the same case as it was going on for the peak lumen so every single remixed image looks better compared to the first prompt now here we have let's say this one and we also have this similar house here on the on the ground here and then we have the lake and also the fog here as well as the mountains so everything looks very very realistic and this is pretty much it now i think that if you want to use free flux ai model then these two options are great viable options to use so pretty much pick lumen if you want to use flux as well as korea.ai if you want to use flux completely for free which i believe is the same model as this one right here where you have to add a payment method to use so now i think this is pretty much it for the video thank you so much for watching if you guys got a value from this video then make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to this channel as well with that said have an amazing rest of your day and if you're interested in more ai videos make sure that you check this one out